Hello, everybody, and welcome to a series called Bored at School. <clears throat> I know there's a small white line on the right-hand side. I'm sorry, I cannot help that. It is the only way that this game uh, wants me to record it. And what Bored at School is, is uh, showing off some Flash games on different websites. This one is on armorgames.com, uh, which, by the way, is also my favorite uh, Flash game developer ever. They've made some amazing Flash games that have kept me uh, occupied for long periods of time. Um, they're just amazing. Crush the Castle is one of them. Um, I believe they made um, Warfare 1940-something, 1945, 1941, or 1917, or something like that. And that was really good, too. Uh, they made a lot of different ones. Race 2 is actually out, and I will cover a video of that one. But I wanted to cover the original Race because I liked it better. Um, as is with a lot of original games and movies. So, yeah. What this is basically going to do is going to show off the game itself, show you guys um, what it's all about, and, uh, of course, a link to it in the description. Uh, multiple links, because I know that some school boards, including my own, blocked many sites and stuff for this game, including armorgames.com, uh, which was odd, um, and addictinggames.com, but uh, didn't block onemorelevel.com, which is interesting. Um... So that was the one I played most games on, but uh, I will give a couple of links just in case your school board is as asshole as mine. Um, so, yeah. Rays is, like I said, from Armor Games, and I believe Con Artist was the artist for this one as well. And uh, it is a side scrolling arena shooter. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, <laughs> you'll see what it is um, later on. It does have a campaign, which is interesting because. Yeah, that's interesting. A campaign and quick match. Usually they have one of the two, one or the other. They don't really have both, um, which is kind of cool. There's a play more games option, of course, uh, about rays. Weapon info, which is really nice. You can click on different weapons and find out about them. Pistol, sniper, railgun, bio Uzis, which is cool. Assault rifles, railguns, you know, stuff like that, which is awesome. Um, there's also how to play and tips. Uh, shows you your movement, which is basic movement. It's nice that they have the arrow keys um, and space adhering to some people. Shooting is pretty obvious. Selecting weapons is also pretty good. Um, multiple ways to do that. And pausing is also even more. And you can show scores with tab, which is awesome. Even has tips, which is pretty cool. You can read those out yourself if you really want to. Um, there's also profile mode. You can change your uh, preview stand uh, to a couple of different stands. Well, four, I think. And there is 20 presets... Uh, as well as customizable, so I can customize to be different. Um, customize all over the place. Yay! Uh, that's good enough. <laughs> and you can also have them have expressions, which is kind of cool, and you'll see more of that in the actual game itself. You can also change your username. There we go. It's a good name, I think. <laughs> uh, we're going to go with... Angry, I guess. Angry is usually the most vocal, I find. It's interesting to do because it also has the stats, though sometimes they're not very accurate. Uh, I found my um, kill-death ratio was off, uh, my highest kill streak was off, and my accuracy was uh, definitely not <laughs> what it should be. You can save and exit and stuff. So there is a campaign, Human and Alien. You beat the Human campaign, you unlock the Alien campaign, which is awesome. And there is a training mission, and I think we're going to do that. Uh, it shows you everything there, what it is. Uh, it's training day, very easy, death match, one versus one, and five kills to win. So, let's start. One fight. <laughs> and of course, it's training day, gives you chips, there's double jump. Uh, the white area, you can jump higher. The green areas, you can... Oh, fuck, I failed. Yes, I know. Thank you, game. Jump. Jump. There we go. And, of course... There's weapons, and there's defense power-ups as well, which I'll explain more when I get into the multiplayer itself. Oh shit. Ah, uh, my face. Ow, my face. Well, damn it, he got the better weapons on me. Ah, uh, now we have the better weapon on him. Boom! Damn it. Got him. So he has a better weapon on him now. Uh, the training bot's really easy. I just suck. Whoa. Got one! See? It says something. It's pretty awesome. 
once we're done with this guy, it's five kills to win, so not too difficult. Once we're done with this, I'll show you the actual multiplayer. Awesome. One more kill. Ready for fire. Well, bam! I win. <laughs> so, yeah. Pretty simple. So, yeah. Let's um, take a look. And, yeah, the uh, rest of the campaign is just the same thing. It's uh, different game modes in an arena style. Kind of like... Um, Unreal Tournament, I guess, would be a good uh, good example. And if, after you beat the human, you unlock the alien. So, let's go into a quick match. There's multiple different uh, types. There's uh, Team Deathmatch, Deathmatch Normal, uh, Elimination, which is my personal favorite, Team Elimination, and Juggernaut. Juggernaut is pretty cool. Uh, there's one Juggernaut that's just super-powered and has to kill everybody, and uh, you win by... Um, I think it's killing the Juggernaut so many times, or getting kills as the Juggernaut so many times or something. But, uh, yeah. So let's play uh, Elimination with five lives. We'll play it with nine opponents. We'll play it on easiest because I haven't played this in a long time. There's also Damage Mod, uh, Ego Mode, and Weapon Selection. So you can select different uh, weaponry. So Human, Alien, Long Range, Close Range, Automatics, Ballistics, Explosives, Small Guns, Big Guns, Pistols, bio A-Rifle, Zappers, Shotguns, Snipers, Railguns. Grenade launchers, chain guns, rockets, and all. I'm only going to do all, because it's much funner to do it all. There's also multiple different maps. Uh, plant, Abandonment Base, Stranded, Disposal, VR. And uh, Plant is my personal favorite. Um, it's pretty awesome. And uh, to Deathmatch and Team Deathmatch are exactly what you think. Elimination the same. There's so many lives, you have to eliminate the enemy. Team Elimination is just that as a team, and Juggernaut I kind of explained. So let's start and uh, take a look at it. So wherever you move your mouse is where your uh, aimer moves, and where your... Careful, that guy's got big guns. And also where your... God damn, this guy's dangerous. Oh, I got him. Good job. So there's power-ups around the map. There's health. Uh, I believe there is two or three health. Crap. There's two shields. And there is double kill. One uh, double points thing, or double damage, derp. And then up near the top, and this game is really laggy right now because I went on a higher uh, thing than what I probably should. Rocket Launcher is beast, by the way. Um, yeah, that's right. And as you can see, that was misspelled. See that the guy there has infinite on, and uh, you just can't kill, you can't kill him. And somehow I ended up uh, down here. Damn glitches. Lots of glitches in this game. It's a flash game. What do you really expect? Like, it's not perfect by any means. Oh. But it is a really fun game. Of course, if you're on a school computer, it's probably shit, so... Um, you may want to bring the graphics down a little bit. Um, just saying. I don't know why I got double damage when I have this thing, but... I did, so it doesn't matter. And these games can be very long, so if you have like a long, I don't know, hour-long class, lecture, or something like that, or um, it's just free period, and you just want to play some free... He just committed suicide. There's also a lot of sounds with this as well. Oh, I got him. Ah, bro! I missed. Where'd he go? There he is. Come back, bro. Ah, broski! Yeah, that's rad. I'm king. I am king of the world. Multiple different weapons, too, by the way. As you can see, there are ten weapons in total. Um, all of them have different abilities, different specialities. You can be good with all of them, except for, obviously, probably the pistol. And maybe the bio Uzi, uh, bio Suzies? Yeah, Suzies. bio Uzis. They're uh, pretty terrible. I suppose you can sit, you can, uh, as a challenge, try to be good with them, maybe. This guy here just wants me dead. The only thing that disappoints me, and I think they should actually do this, maybe get some, like, fundraising or something for it, is with Raze, or maybe even Raze 2, have a uh, multiplayer. I honestly think this is a game that would benefit greatly from multiplayer. I think it would sell a lot of copies for cheap, or uh, for donation-type things, kind of like the Humble Indie Bundle does. Um, I think it it's one of those games that I just think it uh, could uh, very well 
uh, go for a multiplayer and be uh, successful with it. Because it has all the um, all the necessary stuff. Maybe some bug fixes would uh, would uh, greatly help it. Oh, wow, he dodged that. See, even on the easiest, they do dodge. Yeah, gotcha. I think he's the last one left as well. And then uh, we win. And I don't think I died this entire time. Oh, shit. Oh, crap, he's infinite. Bring it on, bitch. Where is he? Yeah! Wow, we came really close to dying. Blah! <laughs> so, yeah, we got 14 kills, zero deaths. And it shows all the other uh, ones as well. Like I said, I think multiplayer would actually be an awesome thing with this, and people like uh, to play this in multiplayer. I think it would be pretty awesome. Um, but, oh, there's also achievements as well. You can do different things. Uh, get top score on deathmatch, hardest difficulty. You know, complete a quick match with medium or harder with twice as many kills as deaths. Complete the human campaign, stuff like that. It's awesome to get them, but again, they're not really that amazing. The options, there's uh, best quality. I don't find much difference between that and uh, medium quality. And of course, there is uh, low quality, which is recommended for average, and lowest quality. Um, <laughs> I was on medium quality. You can turn sound effects on, music on, off. Basic stuff like that. It's pretty awesome. But uh, other than that, thank you very much for watching, guys, and uh, more of this series to come, and uh, more games and stuff. I'll put a links to uh, as many uh, sites as I can find with this one that uh, I know are trusted and well uh, kept up. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace.